This video demonstrates installation of Helios 1.6. Here we are on the Helios distribution website. Um, usually when you're notified that a new release is available, this is where you'll be directed and there'll be some version um, here at the top. It usually would not say draft. Um, this is unreleased that I'm using for demonstration, but uh, this would normally just say release latest. And then, so this is the specific version. Then there'll be some information about what's in this release. And then finally, the important stuff at the bottom, there'll be this little section called assets. And that's uh, the GitHub term for the files. So you expand that, and there'll be two things in there. There are two zip files. One is the regular installers that everybody should be using. That's for 64-bit machines, which is the default. And then uh, special for Bluefin and a couple of other people. There's this 32-bit uh, installer um, that can be used on um, Windows 32-bits, but um, I don't have Windows 32-bits, so I'm unable to really test those. But according to Bluefin, they also work. All right, so what we would do uh, is we download the installers. I'm just going to open it in place. So we'll get this zip. Um, let me make that a little bit bigger for you. Okay, so um, inside the zip file, you'll find a number of installers. Uh, there will be at least this one. This is the main installer. It's just called Helios, and then the version number. And then there will be the keypress receiver installer, which is an optional component for those people who are running Helios over the network. Um, and there may be other installers in here as well uh, in the future. But right now, the one we want is um, this regular Helios installer. So just double click that. Uh, Windows is going to put up a warning because uh, we are not able to assign our uh, installers because we're not a corporation. So it'll just say, this is from an unknown publisher, specifically, you know, it's a Helios installer. Uh, and that's fine, because I downloaded it from the Helios repo. Now, uh, this information will also be copied into the comments and uh, the description, sorry, field on YouTube. Um, but basically, if you're installing over uh, Helios 1.3, uh, please read the section at the bottom before installing over Helios 1.3. 1.3 is the legacy version that Gadrock produced, um, and so there are some, some special notes about that down here. If you're installing over 1.4, you really don't have to worry too much. The rest of these are just disclaimers that you may wish to read. Okay, so next step, it will tell you that the installation path has been uh, is now Program Files Helios Virtual Cockpit. You may know that until now it was installed into Gadrock's workshop, but that entity doesn't exist. So uh, Helios is now distributed by a virtual team called Helios Virtual Cockpit. And yeah, so the, you don't have to worry about that too much. Just, uh, just know that if you're looking for the files later, this is where they will be. Windows is going to remove the Gadrox workshop files and place the new ones because this is an upgrade uh, that replaces 1.4. Okay, so we're going to install. If Helios was running, you'd now get a warning that says, hey, this is running, you have to stop it. Now you get a pop-up dialog um, that uh, from Windows saying, is it okay that this installer is going to modify your computer? Unfortunately, Windows doesn't allow me to record that dialog, so you probably didn't see it. You just saw a black screen, I would guess. Um, but basically, it just says, is it okay to install? And you say yes. And then we do close. Uh, and then we're done. So from this point, uh, you should watch one of the quick start videos uh, that tell you how to use the newer version, or you can also watch uh, the detailed videos playlist.